happens when I hang out with Heath? Nothing. <laughs> Get Sorry, some I, came, I came to help. You're helping. You want to hear a song? A normal day in my life is always a bit different. I don't really have like too much of just like consistent schedule. Go grab a coffee, get a little food in me, and then a lot of times I'll warm up my legs and just, just kind of get moving on my little mini ramp that I built. It's a bit crusty right now, but it's still super fun. I love skating and just jibbing around. I suck, but it feels really good to just kind of break a sweat, especially after a long night out with the friends. That's not right. It's something like that, though. That's why we keep it in the garage, because I'm terrible at it. Richard Forn, he's the best video filmer, editor in BMX, and pretty much everyone's opinion and he's like a mystery man he stayed in my house and hand drew that and like burnt it and it's this really cool note on the back and here he goes oh that's cool that thing I like hand drawn for you and like burnt and wrote this cool note you put it in your shitty art area <laughs> but he's the best <laughs> and after that I ripped my motorcycle out here hit a few friends up and shred It's funny because I grew up BMX racing. My parents found like a local BMX track to help me like just get my energy out and I loved it. And uh, that was kind of like the first thing I fell in love with. Through racing I found freestyle, which was like, that's what I really fell in love with. I think I knew from a young age just what I was gonna do. Like whether it was, I was gonna be broke and do it or make a living and do it, I was like, I'm gonna do this. This is the, the first money I think I ever made from riding bikes. I was like 15. These are some covers. When I first started coming up, I've been lucky enough to, when magazines were big, get land some covers. And that's a huge deal to me because I grew up on magazines and getting covers is just crazy. Like my dad knows everybody and he's been traveling with me for so long. You know, like before I was 18, he'd have to go to all the contests and sign, sign my waivers and stay in the hotel room with me and all my crazy friends. My mom and dad, they've supported me so much. Like just been, all right, you want to ride BMX? Like, well, you're gonna do it, do it, have fun. Like you hear other parents and like that don't support their kids, you're like, oh my God, I'm so lucky how cool my parents were. I finished the ramp right around the whole coronavirus thing too. So it's like, I get to finally like enjoy my home, my family, my close friends for like a whole summer and it's, and my riding too. Like just sincerely just fall in love with riding again rather than different time zones and different parks. I feel really bad for the people who've got sick and lost their jobs and the negative stories it, but for, for me personally, it's been like one of the best times of my life. One, two, three, go! Quarantine just gave me more consistency in my everyday routine, so when I'm out filming or when I'm on trips, I feel super good because I'm just like consistently riding the, like my dream ramp. It has everything and I don't get bored of it every every day. I like learn something new or a new line. So it's just like, I just want to come back. It feels like when I first like found my local park and I was there every day and just couldn't get enough of it. What motivates me to keep riding is just the, the pure like, the pure love and joy I get from it. And also just the, the fact of riding and feeling like a little kid but working on video parts and projects to me is like, I'm not an artist, I don't play m music, I don't know anything about that but like the bike I feel like is my way of expressing myself in these parts and working with filmers and getting to do what I love and do it the best I can so it's like, just the riding, the pure freedom of it, and then also getting to create something is like, it's amazing.